Hello. Hello. This is just such a juicy morning over here. We're hungry for breakfast, but before breakfast, we thought let's record some some new videos for you guys. Mm. How to play with the different flavors of your relationship? How to play with the different energies, the different moods that yes. you can bring? Yes. This is a fascinating topic, I right? I love this topic. Yes. Yeah, it applies really strongly to us and our connection and really what we're talking about when we talk about the flavors are the different, what are the different moods and ways that we relate that show up in our field, in our connection, and how can we really just open to whatever shows up and, and what I find for both Shiva and I, which is really something that's really fulfilling in this connection, is we both are, are kind of a yes. Like we're, ye we're a yes to whatever shows up. And so it makes it really fun because we tend to show up together in very different ways, in different situations, and we both really just open ourselves to showing up in these different ways. So we'll give you some examples. Yeah, what are the examples? What are the different um, flavors or states or energy flows or moods that we can be in? Yeah, well, sometimes we're just full-on lovers. Full-on lovers. <laughs> what does it look like? Yeah, yeah. You know, in this erotic flow, it's going yeah, to be sometimes really it's juicy fire. And fire. It's fire, and we just open to the fire, and it's like, like explosions. So really erotic energy, right? Yes. This erotic space. Yeah, yeah. What are the, open to that. What are the um, sometimes, we... like in our community, sometimes we kind of take on a mom-dad role. <laughs> and we're kind of parents to people in our community. And we even have some friends who are like, relate to us, like mom and dad. Not, not really, but they are like, they feel a mom and dad. And so we take people in and we're like, really stable mom and dad. That's a funny one, yeah. It's a beautiful one. Yeah. Sometimes there's been a couple times where you've been my dad. <laughs> yeah. And it's come as a surprise, but what's been so that could feel kind of weird if that comes up, but what I felt coming up in me was like there's this little girl coming to the surface and he was really feeling like this father figure and what was so beautiful about it was we just both went with it and allowed yeah. ourselves to play in that space he even like it was really sweet the way he was relating to me i found it to be so healing yeah it's like embodying the masculine embodying yes. an, as an aspect of the masculine that comes through it's a shamanic practice it's actually something that is really part of a you know almost like a therapeutic process of coming and saying you're yes. being loved you yes. know ready to go you know and when you say that to your lover it's you know you have to shift you have to transfigure the uh, the image that that you have of the person, but it's right. uh, it's a very powerful operation. So so healing. Yeah. What other flavors? Another are? thing that's coming to mind. It's a little different. That's like different roles we take on, but there's also different moods. So recently, like this weekend, we were in a nurturing mood. So there wasn't so much fire, and it was more like watery, soft, like flow. And we both could feel when we were tuning into what we were desiring, like we were both desiring this real nurture type yeah. of flavor. So then we created an atmosphere. We had like a nurturing day on Saturday and created an atmosphere where we could really dive into that flow of energy, knowing that it's going to be here for a time and then it's going to move on into something else. Fire is going to kick back soon. Exactly. And, yeah. exactly. Uh, and so, in the nurturing mode, uh, what's you know, for instance, mm. yesterday we were at the at the sauna nearby, and we go into the pool. I take her into the mm. into my arms, floating. We are there having nice food around the fire. Yes. It's like so uh, you know, it's a very sweet. soft and harmonious uh, zone. Mm -hmm. When we cultivate that, it really nurtures or fulfills an aspect of our being yeah. that is really craving for yeah. that. It will be through soft touch, you know, soft massage, yes. for instance, things like that. We also have a really cool thing that comes through, and it, it's something partially, I think, in these videos, it's it's there a little bit, where we're like two warriors <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> on a mission, and we sometimes feel that we can feel that we're like full on partnered, not even almost male, female, just like partnered beings yeah. on a mission where we're just like side by side, total equals. Um, ancient knights from knights. the Middle Ages. Yeah. How does that look like when we embody it? Like... How does it look? We're just in our full power, and we're it's like we're not looking at each other. We're like looking out yeah. at like w what needs to be done. In a common moment. mission, right? Common mission. Yeah. yeah. What about the challenge zone? Sometimes we enter into challenge zone, right? Mm -hmm. 
it's like um you know the 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 thing that i notice is that sometimes and this has been happening over the last few months more than it's happening right now but if we are entering into trigger zone right mm -hmm. if i feel that there is something that starts really becoming fiery or or energetically aggressive towards mm -hmm. me coming from you my reaction is i have an instant shift in my mind nowadays that goes like this okay it looks like something's going on inside of you mm -hmm. and i'm going to sit down position myself as receiver of whatever you have to voice so there is something that goes into what i call you know the the vital fights or the vital shadows mm -hmm. so it's a whole body of energy and behaviors that we can we learn how to dive into them yes. and uh, and play with with fiery energies where there is you know where when dissonance kicks in it doesn't mean that we have to be far away from each other you know we right. can actually play with the waves of of energy where we welcome it in it's exactly like to a certain yeah to a certain extent it doesn't feel good but we don't shy away from going there we go there yeah. and we say i love that we say we say yes we're just like yeah what's here yeah let's hear yeah, yeah let's do this so exactly, it feels really exactly. Good. there is there is something in the dynamics that i find is very important that that i discovered is the the idea that of uh, energetic or emotional flexibility the ability to shift modes mm -hmm. moods really really fast because if i'm stacked on a, on a certain idea you know we are on the beach here is what's supposed to be happening today um it's not it's very often not going to be fulfilling uh, something can happen you know we can meet somebody on the beach and then enter enter into a nurturing mode or you might go through some you know deep emotions something that is very vulnerable inside of you and then i have to shift to a little bit more of this fathering or or this uh, you know therapeutic mode or sometimes we are there in a in a space where we are both tired and suddenly the fire kicks in and it's mm -hmm. like full-on erotic energy and then we go like oh my god it looks like now it's erotic energy here so let's play with the waves that are that are coming in and so my impression is that there is Shelley, there is Shiva, and then there is a third entity, which is really the spirit of what we create together. And that spirit feels to me intelligent. Mm -hmm. And um, so when, when, we, when we go with the flow, we go with the mood of what's happening there, it's like being really in tune with yeah. what, is, what is energetically alive at that moment. Yeah, being open to flow with whatever's there. It creates an aliveness and a juiciness in the connection too. It's a very dynamic, there's like multiple relationships going on here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's a lot of different people in just the two of us. So yeah, yeah it's, it's beautiful. a lot of fun. I hope this helps you. We'll mm. see you soon again. We love you. Bye.